Hello my friends, there's a new feature on newer frames that I think is the biggest game changer to the platform ever since I introduced audio reactivity. It's been in my backlog since a long time and several power users have requested it, so here it is, it is implemented and I would love to show it to you within the next minute. While previously, to tell a story, you would put one prompt after another and it would kind of morph from one to the next. For instance, here is a cinematic depiction of a cute squirrel in stunning 8K resolution. The next one is a cinematic depiction of a grumpy old dog, black background. And the next one again is a cinematic depiction of a cute squirrel laughing happy. What you would get is a morph from one prompt to the next. It's kind of smooth, which can be very nice, but also it will be very hard to get away from the initial frame somehow unless you crank up the strength of the neural network a lot. Now you notice there's these arrows here, which can also be found here on the top of the box. One is basically the, the continuous flow from one, from one image to the next, while this one actually introduces a hard cut with a new starting frame for this box. You have three options to select the starting frame, let us start from right to left. The right one is we just prompt. We prompt something. Let's say we can take the prompt we actually had here, which is this one. Um, we go here. We paste it. It will be automatically the right format. And now again, you can select one of the four. I love this one, actually. Exactly. And it will also pop up here as a small icon. Now for the next box, let me show you what other options we have. We can upload an image from our hard drive, cool. But something that I'm very happy about and I think this will enable storytelling on the next level is you can pick one of the frames that has been previously been rendered. So we can pick any of these frames. Let's say we wanted to pick a frame of the squirrel at some point. And then we can basically um, render this from there. Now we have these cuts here. But what you will notice is something is weird. And that is, you remember we have these prompt fades between two of the boxes here, right? What we do is it will fade from one prompt to the next. Now we want a hard cut actually. We don't want a fade to the next prompt. That's why this squirrel now looks almost like a dog because it's morphing from the squirrel to the dog. But then there's the hard cut and then there's this dog and this looks cool. And again here it morphs from this dog prompt to the squirrel prompt. So it becomes also kind of funny, but actually then there's the hard cut and that's actually not what we want. So in this mode, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I would recommend to make these boxes of the length such that there's no, no significant um, morphing in between. And then we get to this one. Beautiful dog and this back to the squirrel. Cool. And now we could even make this audio reactive by adding music, of course. Waiting for the stems to, stems to be extracted. Adding something on the snare. Pulling this all the way here. Let's say we want the zoom to be affected. And render this again. And now we have our own little music video. <laughs> I call it the squirrel and the dog. I am very excited to see what you can make out of this. Please tag me when you post this on social media, tag newer frames, spread the word. Happy rendering.